Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to the channel of Chill Relax Plant Content, where we talk about our plants, we try to learn the best way to grow them, and we just have a conversation of our plants. And so if that sounds like something you're interested in, you want to participate in, or you just want to hang out, uh, hit the subscribe button. Let's be plant friends. So, I just woke up. The hair is looking crazy. It always looks crazy. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, and yeah, so I think my sunroom is done. I've changed some things since the last time you saw it, um, and I'm really excited. I think it's going to do good. There are some plants that need some maintenance. There's one plant that, like, almost died, and I'm pretty sure, like, everybody who sees this video is going to be shocked, like, that's the plant that almost died, but, yeah, anyway, so we're going to be doing a little, like, updated sunroom jungle tour, and, uh, yeah, sorry if the phone's shaking, I'm holding it, and uh, I haven't finished my coffee yet, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to show you the sunroom. Alrighty. Alright, so first I'm going to do like a little 360 view of the room. You're going to hear the fish tank, uh, but I'm not turning it off. It's fine. And yeah, this is what they look like. I guess we'll start here. So ooh, it's going to be a little backlit. Uh, how do I fix that? Maybe if I do a different angle, maybe? We'll see how the video quality comes out. So we have a green heart shaped um, philodendron. This is like my philodendron window. We have the philodendron Brazil. A Mykins doing actually really well. Not getting too straggly. And then we have a philodendron white stripe. Also not doing too bad. We're putting out some new leaves. We have a philodendron neon or a neon philodendron. Out of these uh, five, um, oh, it really is backlit. I apologize. But out of these five, the Mykins and the White Stripe are, are doing the most, and the Neon is doing the least. But who knows? It's still early. So this window is east. No. That's south, so never east. It's west facing. And so this, uh, this window gets a lot of afternoon light. And, uh, yeah, so they're kind of like in the shade. This is why the kind of, the lighting's weird. Anyway, we're going to turn over here. And this is a south-facing wall. This is my pothos wall. So this is my mandula pothos. Doing well. This is my jade pothos. This, these are the plants that need some maintenance. <laughs> this is my Cebu Blue. I'm going to, I guess I'll pan over. I can kind of show you. This is my neon pothos. As you can see, kind of, uh, yeah, kind of needs <laughs> some maintenance. And I'm going to run over so you can see the other two closer. Okay, so this is a Pearls and Jade Pothos. This is a Marble Queen Pothos slash Snow Queen. It's, it's the, the same plant. It obviously needs some maintenance. We're going to do that today later on. I'm just showing you what the sunroom looks like. Now this is the plant that almost died yeah yeah the golden pothos the easiest like house plant there is like decided it was gonna croak I treated it just like all the other plants and I don't know I think what happened was when I first put these plants up it was around May and for whatever reason we've had like a late start this year for like growing I think like in mid May we still had no leaves on our trees so these guys were just getting like pelted with um with sunlight for like most of the day where now like the trees have finally put out leaves so it's more indirect kind of and now the plants are are, are finally happy but uh yeah this guy <laughs> i have i have some uh more golden pothos to put in here and i'll do that again uh today but yeah so this is my enjoy pothos doing well doing well and then right here is my global green pothos, a couple yellowing leaves, but overall doing really well. Look at those pretty leaves. Okay, and then on this side is my skindapsis, ooh, sorry, wall. And so this is a east facing, the camera, is an east facing window. So they get a good amount of morning light and then that's really it. And then like indirect southern light. But we'll start over here. And I thought these were, out of all the plants, I thought these were the plants that were going to throw the biggest fit. But no. So this is a Scandapsis Trubii Moonlight. Doing alright. She's putting out two new leaves here. Three. There's another one back here. 
So she's doing well. Then we have the Skindapsis Silvery Ann, also putting out some new leaves, starting to trail, looking good. The Jade Skindapsis is taking off. This was, when I first potted this up, it was just up here and it was, it was kind of sparse. And it has filled out and started trailing. I'm so excited for this plant. Then this is the Skindapsis Argerius. This is like the nicest Argerius I've ever grown. <laughs> and uh, I think we have like one or two yellowing leaves by the base, which is completely fine. And uh, yeah, this plant is doing amazing. And then right here is my Skindapsis Exotica. I'm not sure how the light, the, the sun, the clouds moved and the sun just like came in. So I'm not sure what's going on with the lighting. Hopefully you could see everything, but yeah, these guys are doing amazing find yourself an east facing window and let them get that morning light they really like it all right another plant so i'm gonna have to hold the camera up a little higher because these guys are up higher that i bought a couple of months ago this is a lacunosa snow caps and when i bought it i knew it was overwatered, and i was just like ah mate we'll see what happens and what happened was most of the plant died back but we have some strands that are holding on i think will eventually start to fill out the pot. The same thing kind of happened with my Hoya Curtsii, and I kind of did the same thing. I kind of like bought it and just left it alone. And I didn't water this thing for like two months. And um, then I, I start slowly bottom watering it. And it's it's starting to actually look okay. What Whatever is green right now, I think is gonna make it. So I do have to trim that up too. All right, so here is my Hoya Bertonie. You can probably also hear my ceiling fans, but we're keeping them on. And he's doing very, very well. Right here is my very dusty Hoya Chelsea, <laughs> but she's also doing really well. I think she's starting to put out some, ooh, where are you, some new growth right there. I hope you can see that. Putting out some tendrils, looking good, looking good. And then right here is my Hoya Wayetii, and this guy is always putting out a bunch of tendrils, and I'm hoping that with the humidity and the summer over here, It'll start to put out some some leaves and really start to trail. Steph Hall, um, she has a YouTube channel and she has a huge Wyattia. It's like, I think it's like two feet long, maybe even longer, and it's so sun stressed. So that's the goal for this plant is to try to get it to look like hers. And then right here is a Hoya pubicalyx, which is putting out so many tendrils. I'm so excited. I can't wait for new leaves to start popping off. I'll give you a little aerial view. I mean, let's look at this leaf. Ooh. Let's get in there and look at this leaf, huh? It's beautiful, it's so splashy. I don't know what kind of pubicalyx it is, I just know it's a pubicalyx. Then over here is my nice trailing linears. I actually just gave her a cut to share with some people and also just to like keep her looking full and bushy. Sometimes uh, you'll get like a strand that you can see right here that for whatever reason loses a couple of leaves. And so every once in a while I'll go around and just trim those up just so that it looks more full. And also this is what the top is looking like. Looks good, looks good. I released ladybugs, so if you guys see any ladybugs, that's uh, that's intentional. <laughs> Here is my Hoya Microphylla Albo Marginata, or Latifolia. And she is putting out a bunch of tendrils as well. Very excited to see this plant take off. And I just really love these plants, these leaves, when they're sun stressed, they come out with such a pinkish blush. I feel like this camera angle's crazy, but I'm literally holding up the camera up off on my tripod so that you could see them. So I apologize, but it is what it is. And right here is my one of my Hoya Compactus, and she's doing really well. That little mesh on top is um, ladybugs. So that's like what they came in, so I kind of just threw that up there. Uh, you can see there's still a couple in there. Those guys are not moving, so. But yeah, he's doing well. This is my other Hoya Lachinosa. All right, my Hoya Lachinosa. This also kind of had a little bit of a struggle in the beginning of when I bought it. I'm not sure if the Lachinosa just um, acclimates a little, a little rougher than a couple other Hoyas, but it's starting to grow back. We're putting out new tendrils here and here, and I'm excited to see this guy grow. He has bloomed for me. Out of all of my Hoyas, I've gotten the Compacta, the this Lachinosa, the Queen, the Princess, 
the Chaperdii, the Memoria, uh, and I, the Bertoni ate a flower for me. So I still got a bunch of others that I'm waiting on, peduncles and flowers, but yeah, this guy smells like cinnamon. Just, just so you know, a little extra fun fact. This is my other compacta. The blooms on this smell like chocolate to me, so yeah, like right here. If I was gonna send a cutting to somebody, it would, I would cut it right here and then send them this piece. But yeah, and that's how I kind of keep them looking full and bushy. So we're doing well. And then right here we have my curtsy eye, and she's doing good. You can see all the new green ugh, tendrils coming in right here. She is still pretty full on top, which is exciting. And the way to do that is is to provide light from the top, either a grow light or I have um, lights in my, I put LED lights in my uh, ceiling fans. I also have a sunlight in here, but doing that keeps the tops of plants full. So yeah. And then this is my smallest Hoya Compacta, but I think it's, I don't know. She's got a lot of, a lot of volume up top, I'll say. And this is what she looks like from up here. Looks good, looks good. I'm excited for her to also grow and start trailing to get as long as the other two. It'll be really cool. And then the last plant I have in here is a Hoya Australis, and this guy is a beast. He's a beast. You see all that new growth up there? You see the tendril going all the way up? Yeah, this guy is amazing. He's an awesome plant, and uh, yeah. It's just, it's a good plant. I eventually have to repot all of these um, Hoyas, but it's a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot. So again, just what the sunroom looks like. Anybody else like addicted to pillows? I have a lot, like too many. Right here, I just have some plants that I'm gonna be potting up to decorate other windows in my home. Oh, I almost forgot these guys. These are my princesses and queens, so this is my Princess, look at that huge new leaf, or new er leaf. Look at that. I have to stand on the couch. Hold on, because these guys are even higher up. Hold on. All right, I'm on the couch. <laughs> so this is my queen, and you can see she's reaching up towards the skylight, taking off. Let's see if I can reach to show you the top. I don't know, I can't see, so I don't know what you see. But yeah, we got that. We have a queen right here, doing really well. And then over here is another, this is a, another queen. She's doing good, she's starting to trail up. And right here we have another princess. Look at right here, this is like my favorite part of this plant. This, this princess has more narrow leaves, where my other one has more um, wider leaves, like that. I just love them. So yeah, this is my little sunroom view. These are the plants that had the mealybugs the worst. I could still see some. I don't know if you guys saw them, but like I could still see some. I did release the ladybugs. Oh, you can see one right here. Hold on. See the little ladybug? So they will eventually get to them. I don't want to spray any um, pesticides yet because that will kill the ladybugs. So I'm going to give them like a month, see what happens. I might go in with a little bit of water and alcohol and just like clean up some of it because I think some of it isn't actually mealybugs but it's like their nest of where their eggs go so yeah anyway a little a little bun a little bug fun fact but uh, yeah this is what the sunroom looks like it's not perfect it never will be but uh yeah I'm excited I'm excited to see these guys all grow and trail and uh yeah so until next time relax plant peace out <laughs>